The Grande Oriente Lusitano is one of the oldest Masonic obediences in Europe and the world. Actually, we were founded in 1802. We received a charter from the ancient Grand Lodge of London, one of the Grand Lodges which later formed the United Grand Lodge of England. But we've kept a liberal approach to Freemasonry. We've been for over 200 years one of the most active liberal obediences. We've been behind the liberal revolutions in Portugal, we've been behind the establishment of the Portuguese Republic and we keep working towards achieving liberty, equality and fraternity. Due to its history, Portugal has always been a, a country which establishes bridges, which establishes contact contacts between continents, between the Americas and Europe, Africa and all over the world. We have very strong relations with South America. Portuguese is, is uh, spoken in the, the largest uh, South American country, Brazil, and we keep uh, an open approach towards uh, the establishment of Freemasonry in every country. The Grand Orient Lusitano has a strong respect for any jurisdiction and every jurisdiction. We only establish lodges in places where there are no Masonic obediences, working towards the creation of new Masonic obediences which can be independent and sovereign by themselves. We have uh, over 100 lodges uh, established in uh, Portugal, uh, in the islands of the Azores and Madeira and also a lodge in Cabo Verde and a lodge, uh, lodge in Macau. The Grand Orient Lusitano keeps working towards uh, the study of solutions to solve some of the most uh, critical and most important problems our society faces nowadays. For instance, the establishment of a national health service in Portugal is a reality since uh, uh, after uh, 1974. The Grand Orient Lusitano started working towards the establishment of equal opportunities, the social leveling of society and to bring people closer to education, health, and also an active part in the society towards citizenship. When you visit Lisbon, you'll find lots of Masonic symbolism, in, not only in, in the buildings, not only in the temples, but also on the streets. And we invite you, we welcome you to visit and to know more about Portugal, Portuguese Freemasonry, so once again you can bring us closer together and once again spread the words we are here to welcome you, we are here as brothers to welcome every brother and sister.